It's time for the first reaction video of 2019. I'm excited. I just came back from Costa Rica. Maybe you could notice the tan. Nurse Jackie, episode one, season one. Be -whoop! What do you call a nurse with a bad back? Unemployed. No. <laughs> Are those tomatoes? Those are like cherry tomatoes. Grains. I like cherry tomatoes. Nope, those are not cherry tomatoes. She's doing lines. Can you show me two fingers? Peter, two fingers? Hey, Doc, you should get an iPhone. You think so? All right, this doctor is absolutely awful. This doesn't happen in hospitals. If it does, people should be losing their medical licenses. The patients clearly uh, mentally unstable or has some sort of altered mental status because he's in and out of the conversation. He can't hold up two fingers. And this doctor is like checking his Blackberry and talking about a vacation to St. Bart's. Come on, bro. And first of all, who has a Blackberry? I used to. He's got a bleed, I'm telling you right now. He's totally lucid, 100%. Knock, knock. Who's there? See, what I tell you? It's <laughs> not how we determine someone's neurological status. We do something known as the Glasgow Coma Scale, which gives you a score from zero to 15, depending on how alert you are. Besides that, we do a complete neurological examination. We don't just look at someone, make a knock-knock joke, and just assume they're good. Acute subdural hematoma. The brain puffs up so fast, it rips the blood vessels and you bleed to death inside your skull. The skull is a closed environment, and when you bleed into the skull, that builds up extreme pressure. Now that pressure exhibits what we call mass effect onto the brain and puts even more pressure and causes your brain cells to die. Horrible that this patient had to lose his life like this. For what? Because the doctor had an ego and wanted to look cool in front of the nurse? Ash, you should not have died. I agree. Peter, Michael. Donovan. Wait, is she forging it his may have organ been a shame, donor? But it will not be a waste. If she forged his organ donor certificate on the back of his license, that's crazy. I have no words for that. We work 9-11. Not a scratch on us. PD's job is to ride a bike. And he gets killed. Riding a bike is incredibly dangerous. When I worked at a level one trauma center, we would see bike accidents happen all the time. And unfortunately, many of these people don't wear helmets. And essentially what happens is they come in, horrible brain bleed, and it's often too late for us to even intervene in the hospital and they lose their lives. I tell you to order a scan, you order a goddamn scan because if you don't do it, I'll just go to the next doctor and the next doctor after that. In the meantime, that kid died and it is all on you. Oh. Is this happening, not happening? I, I can't even tell. Oh shit. Oh, oh crap. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh god. I, no, when I get nervous, I act out with an inappropriate sexual touch. It's, it's like a, it's like Tourette's. It's, 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 it's over. Okay, it happened and now it's over, so there's that. I don't like chatty, okay? I don't do chatty. I like quiet. Quiet and mean. Those are my people. I've worked with nurses that were mean like this, and I will say that secretly inside, despite this mean exterior, they have the biggest and sweetest hearts. They care about people, and the only reason they're so mean is because they want to protect their patients. They don't put up with nonsense. So I defend you, mean nurses. We got you inside, honey, it's all right. Got some John getting off, cutting up hookers in the back of the limo. Don't turn the alphabets. Oh, why do you have to cut me so bad? Did get him? Nah. Be on the lookout for Vincent Van Gogh and his Agnes fucking suit. She got the blade away from him. Cut his whole ear off. Good girl. Put it on ice. So you never want to take an organ like that, that is very sensitive, and put it directly on ice. You wanna wrap it in a wet cloth and then put that on ice, because the ice can actually damage the tissue, almost like creating frostbite. Puke away from the ear, Zoe. <laughs> Typical day in the hospital. What do you doctors have against healing people, for Christ's sake? Uh, yeah, you see that, that right there. Healing, helping, fixing. It's fantastic. That's why you're a nurse. I'm not digging the stereotype right now. Doctors help people. When we go get lunches or dinners together, we talk about what we could have done better. We try and learn from our cases. So I'm taking this to heart right now. And 
bad Nurse Jackie show writer. Four minutes till brain damage. Two till she passes up. Excuse me. Oh. We need some help. I got it. You're buying lunch. Yes, ma'am. By doing the Heimlich maneuver like that, what you're doing is you're increasing the intra-abdominal pressure, which then forces the air out, therefore helping you push out whatever it is that you're choking on, or this poor lady in this case is choking on. 16-year-old male shot a Roman candle out of his ass. Third degree burns in his scrotum and perirectal area. Ooh, he put a firework in his butt? Can we close the door? Never in my life have I examined a patient, let alone examined a patient in, in stirrups with the door open like that. Come on now. Come on now! I cannot even begin to imagine what it must feel like to be you right now. And I'm not gonna cushion it and then tell you I'm so sorry for your loss. I know it is much bigger than that. But I am deeply, deeply sorry. But if it's any comfort, He's gonna be a hero now. His body is gonna save lives. It's actually an incredibly good speech. Concise, easy to understand, still apologetic without going too far, except obviously the fact that she lied and forged his organ donor signature. Fine. Can I have his heart? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry? That took a turn. Oh, how about a kidney? I know there's like this organ market where rich people buy, pay a lot of money for body parts. I know it doesn't work that way. 20,000 bucks for a kidney. Don't you think he holds me that? For getting himself killed on that goddamn bike? A family member or a girlfriend of someone who just died gave me one of his organs so I can sell it on the black market? What? He made me pancakes this morning. And you want to sell his kidney? <laughs> Uh, you know what's funny? I've never seen these pills before because A, I don't take them, and B, when I order them for my patients, I don't see them. They pick them up either at the pharmacy or even at bedside. The nurse brings them to the patient. So I've never seen these pills. What doctors have is we have some great apps like Hippocrates that we can open, get information about the, the medications we're giving. You can check the dosing, the formulary, adverse reactions, drug interactions, but then you go click here for pill pictures and you could see, but none of these look like the ones she was using. What about like Oxycontin? Pill pictures. None of these are red. Oh, oh, these kind of look like what she was using, right? That woman you cut took 287 stitches and 10 pints of blood. She liked to cut herself. Well, that was her idea. Yes. American women are very adventurous. She probably did it for attention. What do you do for attention? I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, so good! I could have saved that boy, that messenger kid. I knew there was a bleed, I felt it. This is where we need to use this as a learning opportunity to create a system in their hospital, like my hospital has, where anyone, whether you're a nurse, part of the janitorial staff, doctor, resident, can report an error like this that needs to be investigated by the staff so it doesn't happen again. And even if, let's say they had a good outcome and she still felt like she wasn't being heard, she needs to come onto that uh, system and report what we call a near miss. And a near miss is when a mistake almost happens even though you catch it, but you, you still use it as a learning opportunity to make sure that a near miss doesn't even happen again. Do you think there's a finite amount of pain in the world? Like if I take the thorn out of someone's hand, does that pain have to go somewhere else? Yes, that's why there's drugs. No, disagree. I think you're a saint. Just so you know. I like her bunny scrubs. I'm jealous, I want a pair like that. That's why we don't take drugs on the job. It's pretty funny, but it looks like those bags are just saline. So I don't know how she almost killed him, but 
Doesn't look like it. That's what we call a near miss, by the way. You wanna come over tonight? Not tonight, okay? Brought you something for your back. Dr. Pepper. And moon pie. I was thinking more along the lines of biking it. There's actually been a lot of scandals with uh, doctors and pharmacists uh, either over-prescribing uh, narcotics or maybe even getting caught stealing narcotics. Now they're locked up uh, in these machines. Uh, in my hospital, they're called Pixis machines where you need to actively get fingerprinted or scan your badge in order to get any kind of number of medications out. Also, there's been a lot of doctors where I come from in Brooklyn that have been arrested and charged with distributing these narcotics because they were just writing scripts for patients nonstop for 100 pills, 100 pills, unlimited refills. Those who haven't yet been caught, be wary, because we are coming for you. Be careful. You. Oh, welcome to New York. How did he not catch that? No joke, I am a fan of Nurse Jackie. It's not a doctor show. There's enough medical stuff for me to comment on for sure. If you want a funny video, check out my bloopers. Click it, you know you wanna. Stay happy and healthy.